Hello Capricorns, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 8th until the 14th of November. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that we do here on YouTube. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. Today, we're gonna to be looking at your love situation, your feelings, your person's feelings, and most likely outcome, romance, angel, and advice. It is a general reading though, so it's not gonna resonate with every single person every single week. The best way to make sure that you don't miss your message if this isn't resonating, hit that notification button and also subscribe. Hit the like button while you're there too. Come on, you know you wanna do it. All right, let's go Capricorn love messages, please. For Capricorn, eight to the 14th. Wow, coming out already. Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, this situation may be very emotionally overwhelming or draining for you. For you. Uh, take four more, please, for Capricorn. I think you're gonna be the last one tonight, Capricorn. Starting to get tired. Mm, what's happening here? Come on. Even the cards are tied. Whoa. Okay, King and Queen of Cups. You guys are in separation. You're in. You're not in alignment at the moment. The King is looking at the Queen. She's looking at the Cup. She's looking at her possibilities. Mm, three more, please. But you're a match. Then the King is looking at that Queen wistfully, like I really want to make her mine. Oh, but there's another King. There's a lot of people here. What's happening, Capricorn? You may be dealing with fire signs or water signs. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag Sagittarius. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. Two more. So many people involved and everyone's in reverse. How does upside down land look? Oh, there's been betrayal. Okay, that's why. Oh, there's too many people in this reading. It's making me queasy. One more, please. All right. Oh, and the Emperor in reverse as well. Holy moly. And this is a fourth energy. What is going on here? <laughs> because the King of Wands is looking at this betrayal. He's thinking about doing the betraying. He's being shady as. Oh, my Lord. And then there's this Emperor overseeing everything, trying to control the whole lot. All right, this is weird. He's like a puppet master. What is happening here? This may be a family member who's trying to control the situation. Um, or trying to uh, direct the outcome of the situation. Could be a close family friend as well. Where do we begin? <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. All right. Um, we are going to start with, let's look at the Five of Swords in reverse. What is the betrayal? Tell me what the betrayal is, please. Five of Swords in reverse. This is like so weird. Okay. So there's obviously been a heartbreak. Okay, so someone offered their forgiveness and maybe it was, yeah, okay. Someone was given hope. Someone forgave a situation because they had hope. There may be an Aquarius involved. One more, please, for the Five of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the story. Give me two, actually. Tell me about that story. Um, but there was a betrayal. Maybe someone at work was involved or school, someone that studies. Yeah, because look, there was this Ten of Cups opportunity. Oh dear. Someone was stabbed in the back here. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse, please. I actually feel like the King and Queen were a pair. This person is the one that was betrayed because these two are a true match. That's energetically what I'm feeling. Uh, tell me about the King of Wands in reverse, please. What's going on here? This King of Wands may not be very truthful. Um, he may try, oh, he's got his own queen. What is going on here? <laughs> I've never pulled so many court cards. Matching court cards too. All right, keep going. Ah, oh, okay. The King of Wands did do the betraying. I knew it. I knew he looked shady today. All right. Yep. Okay. So this king chased after another queen who is actually his true counterpart, right? This is going to get messy and it, I feel like it's going to be very specific, right? But hang around. It'll probably be a good days of our life story. So this king was chasing. He went chasing. He, this queen caught his eye. 
He made her an offer, probably when he shouldn't have, because I think he was with the Queen of Cups at the time. Um, give me one more, please, for this King of Wands. He may have been chasing a few queens, let's face it. Oh, these are in reverse. Yeah, and it caused a big tower in his life. So his life got blown up because I suspect he got caught looking at other queens or chasing this queen. This is his divine counterpart, though. Queen Cups over here. She's a bit sad. She's like, I just want to focus on my own love cup now. Meanwhile, King of Cups, her actual counterpart, is looking at her from a distance and is watching her going, I know that I can make Queenie happy. I know that I can offer her my cup. I know, but we're just so far apart because we're both in reverse. Whew, that's deep. All right, let's go down the line with these kings and queens and I feel like it's an episode of Game of Thrones. All right, king of cups in reverse, please. No one get naked, okay? It's too much nudity. Yep, he's going to come in. He's going to make an offer. Knight of Swords. <gasps> Let's add some more court cards. Two more, please, for the King of Cups. So I feel like this, if this has happened to you, if you're the one that's, yeah, he's getting ready to talk, but he's afraid of rejection. Um, all right, if you are the Queen of Cups, which I feel like many of you are, Capricorn, don't get hung up on your gender. I feel like it's just this is your energy, right? Um if you are the one who was betrayed by this King of Wands because your King of Wands had a roving eye and made an offer to someone else and got caught and the tower fell and you forgave them but it kind of didn't work out still, I feel like this happened at work or school. This person was, they met this person at work or school. Never fear because although you're hurt and you're overwhelmed at the moment, your actual counterpart sees you. And they're getting ready to make you an offer. So this is your divine counterpart. And that's why it's been shown like this. It's like that actually, although this hurts, this person actually was their person. But that's okay. And because if they had just left it like that and gone, oh, yeah, sorry, your person left you because they met their divine counterpart. That's a terrible story to have to tell someone. And I would hate to have to tell you that. But what I get to tell you is what spirit's showing because they're not mean. And they're saying, yeah, okay, he did. And he did it wrong. And she, he should have done it right. And he did the wrong thing. And he gets his karma for that, which is the tower. Okay. I think he wasn't expecting this either. It wasn't something that they planned. It just happened. Very strong energy here. We've, we're talking same suits, right? We're talking divine counterparts. So you can't always control that. You can do it better, but they didn't for whatever reason. But spirit saying that's okay, because you also have your divine counterpart. We've sent them to you so that you can help, so that you can help heal from this situation. So you're not going to be sad. They're coming in. They're coming in quickly. But they're just a little bit afraid that you might reject them at the moment with this page of swords in reverse. Give me one more, please, for this king of cups. I'm really curious about this emperor too. I don't know how he fits in, but yeah, look, this is a brand new start for you. This is going to be, you're going to have to take a risk. This person is going to take a risk. They're going to move towards you. They see you. This person is watching you. They're watching you be sad though. It may be someone quite close to you that's helping you through this situation. Um, tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is going to be a short reading. I can feel that it's not going to be a short reading at all, Capricorn. It's a very intense reading. Yeah. Yeah. You're not ready to talk to anyone yet. You don't want to kind of hear from anyone yet. Two more. And that may be why they're afraid you're going to reject them because I think that they sense that this page of sword, the sword that they're carrying is in reverse for you. Um, it's not in the upright. Yeah, you're, you're stuck in your healing energy. This is Pisces energy too. Um, you're kind of stuck in a bit of sad energy. And they know that now isn't the time to approach you, but they, their soul has recognized yours. They know, they know that you're the one. So it's like, I know this is, yeah, there you go. You're not looking at any options. You're not even considering any other options at the moment. Oh dear. Capricorn, what a mess. Who is this overbearing, controlling emperor trying to do stuff? This is a separate energy again. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. 
I feel like this is a family member who's like involving themselves. It could be a male or female, um, but it's like they're trying to just get involved where they don't belong. Give me three, please, for this emperor. Yeah, they think that they're doing the right thing. It might be a Sagittarius, it could be an Aries, um, but they're trying to bring balance to the situation. They're trying to heal the situation. They may, may be trying to get the two of you back together, but they're making a real mess of it. They're just being controlling. They're not doing it deliberately. They're trying, they think they're doing the right thing, but they're just making more of a mess. Yeah, they're trying to actually get you guys back together here with the Ace of Pentacles. They probably think that you're a great match without realizing that you've actually each got better matches um, way better matches that will both make you much happier. Yeah, they're, they're doing their best to kind of juggle everyone's feelings and what everyone wants and keep everyone happy. Yeah, they just want success, but they don't actually see all the cards on the table. They just see the two of you. They actually don't see how great this is and how great this is. If you think you had happiness and true love with this person, let me tell you, Capricorn, you are not going, that, that's a three this, this match here, it's a three. At best, it's a three, right? This is an 11 out of 10, okay? Divinely guided. I can't even stress to you. I know that you can't hear me right now because you're in this energy and it's, and it's hurtful, but please save this and watch it back because I'm telling you now, you are going to feel a thousand percent better once you come out of this Queen of Cups in reverse and move back into upright. And then you will see this person that's been looking longingly at you because it changes and she looks at him and you're going to go, oh my God, this was right in front of me all along. How did I not see this? All right, let's have a look. Thoughts and feelings for Capricorn. We're nearly out of cards here, Capricorn. This has happened all night. Everyone's had such intense readings. It's a new moon. Yeah, you're getting justice. Things are coming actually, even though things feel like they're coming out of balance for you, they're actually coming into balance. You may be dealing, yeah. You feel like you are, I know that you're grieving at the moment and it's breaking my heart. You feel like nothing is going to be fair ever again. This whole situation is not fair. And, you know, it, as much as it feels like the scales are not working in your favor, they actually are. In the bigger picture, this is actually all better than you could have ever imagined if you'd stayed or this hadn't have happened. It's one of those situations where you look back, you're going to look back at this and go, oh, now I know why that all of that had to happen exactly the way it did. Because you're going to gain perspective looking back and you're going to be able to see how spirit was actually putting everything in place for you to give you something even more amazing than what you already had. Let's have a look at your, I want to look at this King of Cups, right? Let's have a look at the King of Cups thoughts and feelings, please. King of Cups. And I have very deliberately put them in the upright now because, yeah, this person is really keen to talk to you. They want to tell you how they feel. Um, I put them in the upright because I'm going to try and incite the energy to come into the upright because <laughs> I really want you to be happy again, Capricorn. Two more, please. Yep, they don't want to be single because they've chosen you. They have recognized, it's like they saw, it was a love at first sight kind of situation. Um, they knew the second that they saw you. Yeah, they are feeling like maybe this will never happen at the moment um, because I think they're a little bit afraid to come towards you or you may be actually going through a divorce. Sorry, I had to pause because my phone was about to go flat. Um, they may be seeing that you're actually going through a divorce or seeing the instability in the situation, which is making them feel like they can't approach you, which we've already seen. I know that you want to know, even though I think it's not relevant. So I'm going to actually see how this person's feeling, okay? So let's talk about the Fire King. Tell me how the King of Wands is feeling, please. Tell me about that person's thoughts and feelings, please. I'm only going to take two. Yeah, look, they're very, they're stressed out about what's happened. They don't feel good about it. It's given them a tower. But at the same time, it's kind of like... They didn't mean for this to happen. Yeah, they didn't, they did not mean for this to happen. They may, there may be even a pregnancy involved here. They may be worried about a pregnancy. Um, they didn't mean to start something new. I know that that sounds ridiculous because like, you know, you should end something, but I think they didn't mean to meet this person is what 
has happened here. Let's have a look at um, most likely outcome this week, please, for Capricorn. Most likely outcome this week. Seven of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups. Ah. Oh. Yes, you're letting down your blockages. See, I knew we could will it into the upright. Ah, oh, yes, magician. Love this. Two more. My neighbors are going to think that I'm crazy. Yes. Okay, I like this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy about this. All right, I'm not so happy about that though. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse, please. Ah, okay, better. <laughs> All right, so I think you're actually going to fear. Okay, let's start at the start. Seven of Wands, you are letting down your blockages. All this stuff where you're kind of stuck energy, feeling like you don't want to talk to anyone, you're coming out of that. You're becoming yourself again. Queen of Cups in the upright. Remember what we said, what happens when you come the Queen of Cups in the upright? You start to look up. You're not looking down at your cup. You're looking up. You can see how these two different queens, they have different visual images. And this is why we use different decks as readers, right? This queen, when she's in the reverse, well, whether she's in reverse or not, she's looking at her cup. She can only see her cup. She's, she can't see anything else around her. Whereas this cup, that this queen that showed up in the upright, she's looking forward. She's looking up. She's still carrying her cup, but she can see the good things around her. And that's why Spirit has used those particular cards for this read. So once you are looking up, look at what you're looking directly at, the magician. And you're realizing that, you know what, I can actually bring anything into my life that I want. I can manifest anything that I want. And I want to manifest good things for myself. I want to manifest the best for myself. And that is what you're going to start to do. What you are going to realize as you do that and move through this healing process is that this situation, although you didn't, you, it was probably more about you not wanting to be alone and was actually not going to make you happy in the long term. Um, and that is why you now have the three of pentacles so that you can rebuild. You're rebuilding and recategorizing what wish fulfillment actually means to you as you go through this week. So you're going to be looking, doing a lot of self-reflecting, analyzing, looking at, okay, well, what, what does my wish fulfillment look like? And did it match this person? Like truly in my heart of hearts, did this person match me? And I think you will find that on the surface, they might have on the surface, they might have with this nine of pentacles in reverse, but underneath the surface there, it wasn't. And so you're going to start to rebuild some of those ideals that you have, some of those expectations that you have of other people and yourself in a relationship. And that is where I suspect this King of Wands is going to just appear, who's already been watching you, who's already seen you, and you're going to suddenly wake up and see this person. That is what is going to happen. That won't happen this week. You're doing reflecting and healing this week, but it won't be too long before you look up and you see this person I'm talking about. Save this message. I'm telling you now, it's coming. All right. Advice, please. For Capricorn. Yeah. You need to look to the future. You have the whole world in your hands. Yeah, and not focus on love decisions that haven't necessarily gone your way or love decisions from the past. There's no sense in being jealous. So if you're feeling jealous about this other person's connection, don't let that go. Not don't let it go as in don't feel jealous and then let it go because all that's doing is keeping you in this stuck energy if you're ruminating on what they have and why don't I have it and la, 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 la. Um, you are going to have just as much, if not more, than this person because you have the cup. You are the queen of cup um, and you have a king of cup coming and that is a much better match for you than any fire and water only creates steam, okay? So you don't get, I'm not saying that it never happens, but, you know, obviously there's people that are fire and water and happily in a committed relationship. But in this instance, I think that it's, it just wasn't 
it wasn't ever going to fulfill you. Like it's here in the cards. It says very clearly to me. You're going to realize that that isn't what you thought it was. What you thought was going to make you wish fulfilled and fulfill your happiness, you're going to realize actually doesn't. Romance Angel, please, for Capricorn. And you guys will be the last tonight. Stay optimistic about your love life. I don't make this stuff up. It actually comes out just like this. Um, so stay optimistic about your love life again because this could be the one. I'm telling you, this is the one. This is the one. The past one, not the one. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Please leave comments. Let me know what's happening because I feel like this is quite a specific situation. Um, parts of it may resonate, parts of it may not. Just take what does and leave the rest. Otherwise, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will be seeing you next week. Thanks very much, Capricorn. Bye.